So let's talk about, you know, Claire, you brought up the pattern interrupt and I want to talk about just a couple of different ways that like additional ways you mentioned the executive videos. Um, there's some ways that maybe are more day to day. Jill, I know you have like your go-to, what's your go-to pattern interrupt? Yes. So I want you guys all to think of this of the from the perspective is you can use it on a call. So when you're speaking or you can construct it written in an email. So I'm going to talk of it more so from like if you're on a cold call. But again, just remember, you can write it out, too. But my favorite pattern in, interrupt for any objection is that's exactly why I called. So I actually wrote out a couple examples if I can share. But oh, I'm not the right person. Oh, that's exactly why I called. They're not expecting that. They're expecting you to be like, oh, sorry, bye. No, interrupt the pattern. Um, and even the example I shared before, that's exactly why I called. I figured that you use the tool day to day. So you really have an understanding of the challenges and things that you really like more than a director or VP would ever know. So let's have a, a really candid conversation about that. People aren't expecting that. Another mm -hmm. example could be, I already have a solution. Yes, that's exactly why I called. Most people that I'm reaching out to, they're already using a system. So it's great to hear you're part of that that bunch. However, I've noticed people like to evaluate six to 12 months out. So I'm hoping to catch you at that time frame. When is your contract up? People aren't expecting that. And if I can end with another one, um, send me an email. Yes, that is exactly why I called. Most people that I speak with prefer to do their own research and due diligence before hopping on any, you know, sales phone call like you are with me. So what's top of mind to make sure that my email is really relevant for where you guys are at? And then that's also going to be another test of can they answer that or not to gauge if there's interest? Do they, can they answer that? Or are they still just trying to blow you off and then just multi-thread to another individual? But yes, if you can master, that's exactly why I called exactly why I emailed you, exactly why I picked you specifically, make them feel special, have the research to back it. And that's where, again, it's really good for the information gathering too. But yes, if you can master, that is exactly why I called. It is your get out of jail free card for any objection you'll ever face. I love it. And I think it's like that you, you talk about mastering it. It's the tone you use. It's the, the way that you make people feel. Again, we go back to the emotions piece. Clara, how are you besides the videos with executives? What's your favorite like day to day break up the pattern? Well, I think on the topic of Jill with cold calls, I, I get uh, a little flustered if I'm on a cold call and someone is talking to me about pains or initiatives, right, that they typically solve and they bring someone else's name from my organization up. That is a pattern interrupt for me. So if they're like, hey, are you trying to drive revenue from your current customers right now? Like, how are you doing that through expansion? Like, what what's the motion? And I'm like, yeah, we are. And they're like, okay, so like, what, what does your CRO talk about when you guys meet as an exec, but you don't say CRO, right? You use the actual name. So what is Bob saying in board meetings about this topic? Like, are you trying to get tooling for it? Are you trying to hit a certain number? Like that type of... Um, credibility of them doing their research, but also name dropping is like, oh, wait, you actually really know my business and really think that this could be helpful and valuable given the fact that, you know, I am reporting to this person or they're part of these types of conversations. So I wanted to add that in because cold calls are, you know, there's a lot of different tips and tricks to it, but I think that's a good pattern interrupt. 